One bright morning, under the clear blue sky, Eli the eagle stretched his broad, shimmering wings while Emma the mountain goat tested her nimble hooves on the rocky terrain. Together, they embarked on a thrilling journey toward the great mountain that pierced the clouds. Ready for an adventure, Emma? chirped Eli with excitement in his voice. Eli soared gracefully into the sky, feeling the rush of the wind under his wings as he ascended. From high above, he admired the tapestry of the earth, a beautiful patchwork of greens and browns. He called out to Emma, look down there. The river glimmers like a shiny ribbon from up here. Emma, leaping from stone to stone, glanced upward and laughed, her heart light with joy. As they ventured higher, the air grew crisper, and they reached a serene expanse blanketed in soft, white snow. Emma, wide-eyed with wonder, gingerly touched the snow with her hoof, marveling as it melted into water. It's so cold and tickly, she giggled with delight. Eli, with a gentle swoop, landed beside her and shared the magic of the snowy peak, where the snow, even in the warm embrace of summer, never melted. The journey downwards led them to the lush, green valleys below, where they were greeted by a family of rabbits. The bunnies, with their soft fur and playful hops, shared the secrets of the land, showing Eli and Emma where the juiciest blades of grass and the most succulent berries could be found. Look at all the friends we have here, Emma said with a warm smile, her eyes sparkling with the joy of new friendships. As the day came to a close, the sky painted itself in shades of orange and pink. Eli and Emma found a large, flat rock where they sat side by side, reflecting on the day's adventures. We really did it, Eli. We explored the mountain and learned so much together, exclaimed Emma, her eyes twinkling with the day's memories. And we discovered that every corner of this world has something new to offer and friends to share it with, Eli replied, his wings spreading in the warm glow of the fading sun. As night fell and the first stars began to twinkle in the velvet sky, Eli and Emma settled in, their hearts brimming with the day's adventures and minds alive with curiosity. They whispered their good nights, their thoughts adrift in dreams of tomorrow's explorations. Good night, Emma, Eli murmured softly. Good night, Eli, replied Emma, her voice a gentle echo. Together, they dreamed of the great big mountain and all the adventures that awaited them.